So this is what I did to install a blow plug bypass switch on a 6.5 turbo diesel. Um, keep in mind, it's a disclaimer, there is a lot of potential to burn out your glow plugs or drain your battery with this. But when I put it in, I was having some gremlins with an engine temp sensor, and one of those was that my glows weren't firing. I needed to get to work every day. Uh, so I already have it installed, but it's simple enough that I should be able to explain it, show you a little bit of, of what's going on, and and it's, it's, it's honestly the most simple thing ever. So... We start here in the fuse box, right? Oh, there's some nasty lens flare. Here in the fuse box, just use a fuse tap. So that's the fuse I pulled out. And then, sorry, the fuse I pulled out was the 10. And the 7.5 is the fuse that I uh, I put in there. And so then there's a wire from that fuse tap. So this gets power right here when I turn the key to the, the run position. And then if you see here, I haven't really zip tied it up yet. The wire runs underneath the dash to this, which is a momentary contact push button. Now my button, I chinsed out, I bought a cheap button. And that's going bad. So what I have here is I just drilled it into the dash with a unibit. Um, but hold up, I think I got it. Yeah. So I got a spare fuse and you can actually hear it when I short it out. Wait, no, the truck's not on. When I short it out, I can hear a click. Click, 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 click. So, I've got a bad switch, so make sure you get a fairly decent switch. I'd recommend a uh, momentary contact, just so you don't leave it on and forget it's there. Anyway, so there's this wire here coming from the fuse given power and I've got this wire here and that runs off the other side of the switch back up underneath the dash through the boot through the uh, through that little wire boot in the firewall and I literally just pushed it through there I didn't need a uh, you know I don't like poking poking bits when uh, when there's other wires so I just pushed it right through there um, it went through very easy now, of course, I'd like to get some wire molding on this at some point, just so it looks nice and clean, but I haven't gotten around to that. This was, you know, chip, quick, easy fix right now. So here is the wire from the other end of that switch, and I have it run to this, which is a actually a starter solenoid from an F-150, an F-100. Costs like 30 bucks at O'Reilly's. It's super cheap, super easy. It's got the load plug right here. Not the load plug, God. Um, it's got the hot end, basically. This is what closes the relay when it gets power. And it's just grounded out through through its frame. So basically I took some self-tappers and zipped it right into the firewall there. And then all I did was, this is a battery lead cable. And what you do is there's the existing, right down there, the existing glow plug relay. So you take the cable off of the hot side, put that to one side of the relay, and you take the cable off the other side of the relay and put it down to the load side. So basically what happens is this gets power, the relay closes, lets the power go through, and just jumpers the existing relay for your glow plugs. And it works really nice and really simple. Uh, it even turns your glow plug light on on the dashboard. So if you do happen to not do a momentary contact switch and you leave it on, you'll at least have that warning light, that little glow plug light on. Anyway, that's that's all there is to it. Uh, it took me, what, maybe half an hour to get everything ran and, and drilled in. And, you know, if I wanted to make it pretty, probably another, you know, 15, 20 minutes of zip ties and wire molding. Yeah, that's all for today, folks.